A source-to-source -source compiler, transcompiler or transpiler is a type of compiler that takes the source code of a program written in one programming language as its input and produces the equivalent source code in another programming language. A source-to-source -source compiler translates between programming languages that operate at approximately the same level of abstraction, while a traditional compiler translates from a higher level programming language to a lower level programming language. For example, a source-to-source -source compiler may perform a translation of a program from Pascal to C. An automatic parallelizing compiler will frequently take in a high-level language program as an input and then transform the code and annotate it with parallel code annotations or language constructs. Another purpose of source-to-source -source compiling is translating legacy code to use the next version of the underlying programming language or an API that breaks backward compatibility. It will perform automatic code refactoring which is useful when the programs to refactor are outside the control of the original implementer or when the size of the program makes it impractical or time-consuming to refactor it by hand. Transcompilers may either keep translated code as close to the source code as possible to ease development and debugging of the original source code, or else they may change the structure of the original code so much that the translated code does not look like the source code. There are also debugging utilities that map the transpiled source code back to the original code. For example, JavaScript source maps allow mapping of the JavaScript code executed by a web browser back to the original source in a transpiled to JavaScript language. History One of the earliest programs of this kind was Digital Research's XLT86 in 1981, a program written by Gary Kildall which translated ASM source code for the Intel 8080 processor into A86 source code for the Intel 8086. Using global data flow analysis on 8080 register usage, the translator would also optimize the output for code size and take care of calling conventions, so that CPM80 and MPM80 programs could be ported to the CPM86 and MPM86 platforms automatically. XLT86 itself was written in PLI80 and was available for CPM80 platforms as well as for DECVMS. A similar, but much less sophisticated program was Trans.com, written by Tim Patterson in 1980 as part of 86DOS. It could translate some Z80 assembly source code into ASM source code for the 8086, but supported only a subset of opcodes, registers and modes often still requiring significant manual correction and rework afterwards. Also it did not carry out any register and jump optimizations. Programming language implementations The first implementations of some programming languages started as transcompilers, and the default implementation for some of those languages are still transcompilers. In addition to the table below, a coffee script maintainer provides a list of languages that compile to JavaScript. Porting a code base, when developers want to switch to a different language while retaining most of an existing code base, it might be better to use a transcompiler compared to rewriting the whole software by hand. In this case, the code often needs manual correction because the automated translation might not work in all cases. Examples, Hex, Dart, TypeScript, Coxinal, MScripten. See also References